Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so today I've got a Arteza review and demonstration for you. So we've got um, three three pads that they very kindly sent to me there, look. Three A5 watercolour pads and we've got 60 gouache tube colours. And um, I'll be demonstrating all of these products in just a moment. But first of all, um, just for transparency, um, I'm not getting paid to do this review, although Arteza did send me these products for free. Um, I'm not obliged to say good things or bad things or anything <laughs> about them, they just want an honest review really. Um, now I'm not affiliated with Arteza, but I am going to leave a link to their website and there will be um, a discount code there for you, a 10% discount code. So if you use that, if you buy any of these products, you'll get 10% off of anything that you buy from the website. Now it's like I said, I'm not affiliated with Arteza. I won't get any money back from that um, sale, you know, if you buy anything. So you can be rest assured that this is a completely 100% honest review. I'm not getting paid to sell these or say nice things about these or anything, okay? So I get no commission on any of the sales um, that you follow through on through that link. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, the watercolour paper first. So we get three packs there, spiral bound uh, pads. You get three, so did I just say three packs? I meant three pads or three books, let's say, in a pack, okay? And they're for sale, at, at the time of making this video, um, they're currently for sale on the Arteza website in the UK for only £20.99. pence. I think that's a really good deal, to be honest. Um, now this is the expert range. You probably remember um, I've done several Arteza review videos and one of them was I reviewed another watercolour paper which was called the premium range. Now this paper is in another league. It's a lot better, a lot higher quality um, than the premium range which I've reviewed in the past. This is the same kind of paper that you get in the Arteza um, cloth bound sketchbooks. Yeah, it's very nice quality paper. Um, Arteza do do another um, grade of paper as well which is 100% cotton and that's a lot more expensive than these. This isn't cotton as far as I'm aware. It doesn't say that it is. Um, it doesn't feel like cotton when I'm using it. It does feel like a cellulose paper so um, we'll you know, presume from here on in it's a cellulose paper. Um, it's cold pressed, dual sided, acid free, spiral bound as I mentioned earlier and it says they're ideal for watercolour techniques and mixed media. Now I totally agree with that because um, the paper itself being double sided it's going to lend itself you know very well to all different kinds of media like for example we've got the slightly textured side there the cold press surface there and on the other side it's a very smooth paper very smooth and that would be ideal for graphite work um, or watercolour work if you just want a smooth finish on there and the sheets are all perforated as well so you can tear them off nice and easily and I'll just see if I can get a close up for you of the texture of the paper. Although they're calling this one um, cold pressed, it's very, very smooth for a cold pressed paper. Very smooth. Um, I quite like that actually. And if I turn it over to the smooth side, you can see it's almost like Bristol board. It's very smooth. You can't even see any texture there at all, can you? So smooth. So it's actually. Um, one of those style of books which is ideal um, to put in your bag to take out sketching you know for all kinds of different media you might fancy doing a watercolor um, or you might fancy doing you know a graphite drawing you've got the choice there you know to do either or without having to carry two sketchbooks with you and the fact this is the fact sorry that this is a double-sided watercolor paper you could do a pencil drawing on the smooth side and change your mind and you want to do a pencil and wash and colour it in with watercolour and of course that paper is going to lend itself perfectly for that um, so it really is quite a you know quite a multifunctional little sketchbook that and uh, I'll be demonstrating that um, in just a moment we'll be doing a painting on these and we'll be putting these to the test okay so let's take a look at the uh, 
the colours now. So I've got 60 tubes in here. Uh, if I hold that up, you can pause the video there and have a look at that if you want to. Okay, we've got the uh, light fast ratings on the bottom there. We've got the transparency and we've got pigment numbers on all of the colours as well, which is nice. Now, I'm confused about this light fast rating. I said this in the review about the watercolours as well. Um, and other people that I've seen that use Arteza products, they're also confused about this light fast rating system that they've got going on here. And there's no information about that on the website either. I wish Arteza would clarify this for us so that we know exactly what um, this star rating is. We've got a choice of three stars or two stars. I've heard some people say three stars is light fast, two stars isn't. I've heard other people say um, two stars is light fast and three stars isn't. So <laughs> your guess is as good as mine at the minute. Um, but the majority of these colours here, they all look to have, well, not all of them, but the majority of them um, have got three stars. So I'm hoping that is, you know, light fast. Okay, so let's get the tubes out and take a look at them. Okay, so that's all the tubes laid out there, all 60 of them. Um, they're in some kind of order, but I must admit, you know, that, as always with Arteza products, the, the sort of colours are a little bit random here and there. You know, we've got yellows there, and um, a couple of them in here, and I don't know, one there. They're kind of all over the place a little bit, but it's no problem. Um, so, let's just, let's just have a quick look at one of the tubes. So we've got the safety um, rating on there and on the top there we've got the colour, colour name, pigment number. Oh and these are 12 mil tubes by the way as well, 12 mil tubes. And the price for all of these, get ready for this, this is quite something, is only 39.99 for 60 12 mil tubes of gouache paint. Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? And just to put that into some sort of perspective there, um, I've just recently bought two tubes of watercolour, artist quality watercolour, admittedly. Um, I won't name the brand, but they were 15 mil tubes and they cost me nearly 12 pounds each. Now I can only buy four of those tubes compared to 60 of these. I mean, that kind of puts it into some sort of context there, doesn't it? So you're probably thinking, well, these are going to be rubbish then. Well, I can tell you now they're not. Straight off the bat, they are not. I was totally blown away um, by these paints. As I have been with a lot of the Arteza products, the watercolour pencils, absolutely first class. They're watercolours. They sent me 60 watercolours. Um, they look identical to this. Um, and I was very impressed with those. Although, again, no, being honest, I did say that they are student quality paint and they are very opaque for watercolours and they did feel a little bit chalky. But for the price that they were, they represent really good value for money and you can create artwork with them. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Now, another interesting thing um, about these colours, we've got some pearlescent or iridescent metallic style um, paints in here and I've just recently bought a set actually of fine tech um, pearlescent paints because I've been doing those butterfly illustrations and I wanted to try and get that sort of pearlescent iridescent style look that some of the butterflies have and um, you know it's obviously quite hard to do that with just regular watercolour so I've, I've been buying a few of these um, you know sparkly paints <laughs> to try and get that effect on the butterflies and I noticed there's actually 12 of them in here and again they're not all in one tray or two trays they're kind of spaced out all over um, let me just see if I can find one just straight off the bat yeah there's one there bronze that's obviously one of the metallic colours I'm going to swatch all of these out and you'll see all of the um, the colours and I'll, I'll point out all of the um, the pearlescent colours to you. Now that, I think that's really nice to get a set of 12 pearlescent colours alongside um, you know your regular gouache paints there. Because even if it's something you're not interested in, um, I mean I was never interested in those sparkly kind of paints, 
until I realised, you know, they might be a good idea for, you know, the butterfly illustrations. And there's loads of other uses for them. Um, you know, if you think about birds like mallards, um, starlings, all those kind of birds with that sort of sort of metallic glossy sheen to the feathers. You know, those these kind of paints are ideal for that, to get that effect. So it's always nice to have them, even if you're not using them all the time. And I wish I would have known that before I actually bought my fine tech paints because um, they cost me quite a bit of money. And um, I could have saved myself a lot of money knowing that Arteza were going to send me a set of um, gouache paints and they had 12 pearlescent colours in them. Um, because the, these pearlescent colours really are nice, actually. They're not sort of over sparkly or over metallic looking. They're very natural looking and I think they'll suit wildlife art you know very well i've been struggling to actually find a decent set of metallic paints or pearlescent iridescent paints whatever you want to call them that actually look good for you know the butterfly illustrations a lot of them look just too artificial they're too too blingy too sparkly but these are actually quite good okay so let's take a look at the colors then and, and see what they look like okay so i'm using a water brush to swatch these out um, the reason for that is um, I can get a nice fade um, with the water brush so I can put the colours on nice and thick over the black line there to test the opacity of them and then let the water brush just fade the colours out at the bottom there um, just so I can see uh, you know, how transparent they'll go and just get an idea of what they look like when they're watered down. You'll probably notice that I'm leaving some gaps there in between some of the swatches. Um, that's because that area there is reserved for the um, the pearlescent paints and I'll fill all of those gaps in right at the very end um, because I don't really want to be dipping into the gouache and then the pearlescent paints and getting pearlescent bits and pieces <laughs> um, in the regular paint. Um, so I decided just to do that all at the end and then clean the brush out so I'm not transferring the pearlescent colours um, you know, into the other paints there. And you can already see, look, that the colours are really really nice and strong um, you know they're not under pigmented at all they're very very strongly pigmented and um, they're really lovely colours actually and a really nice um, set of colours a really nice combination of colours there okay so I think you'll agree um, that the colours are absolutely fantastic I mean when you just look at them there like that just in the swatches they really pop don't they now I'll quickly just show you some of these mica colours, these pearlescent colours. Um, where you see the, the orange highlight there on the title, um, that's one of the mica colours. So we've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. If I just kind of tilt that a little bit in the light, you can kind of see those shimmering away there. You know, they're not over sparkly or, you know, they don't look like Christmas tree decorations or anything. I think they'll be very usable actually for butterfly paintings or bird paintings, anything like that where you need a um, sort of a, a pearlescent finish. I think they're really good actually. And um, there's a couple more on here. Pearl orange, that's not very sparkly at all. Um, but the pearl aqua blue is really nice actually. I can see me using that one um, for the butterfly. I think that's really really a nice colour that one but just look at some of the rest of these colours I mean that vermilion it pops doesn't it and the the scarlet um, red there I mean it's just I mean black <laughs> it's like Indian ink you know the, these colours are really strongly pigmented there's no messing about with these at all they're not all um, completely opaque some of them are um, semi-transparent and there's two I think which are transparent that's according to the, um, the information on the box there um, you know we've got the indications there the majority of them are opaque but um, interestingly the ultramarine blue and the peach red are the only two transparent colors in the set and I think I counted seven um, semi-opaque colors and the rest are all opaque so if we just take a quick look at the uh, the ultramarine there, I mean where it's gone over the black line, it's it's still fairly opaque, which is obviously what you want for um, gouache painting. Um, 
you know, it's, it's just a good full bodied strong paint. So I think what we need to do is um, do a little demonstration. We'll test the paper and we'll test the paints. Okay, so I've got a sheet of the paper taped to the board and I'm starting off um, with a wet in wet painting. As you saw there at the start, I saturated the paper um, just to test to see you know, how much it um, cockled and buckled. And I was very surprised it hardly did at all. And any of the slight warping that happened when it was wet, when it dried out, it dried out completely flat. Now I'm starting off here with just regular watercolours because I thought this would be a good way just to test the paper to start with and then we can work on top of this with the gouache paint um, and test that all in one go. Okay so I didn't have any problems whatsoever with this paper. Um, like I say it's a wet in wet painting so the paper was saturated and I've applied multiple washes. I've worked in certain areas um, with multiple brush strokes working in the same area and I didn't get any of the sizing lifting up off the paper. In fact at the pencil drawing stage I even used an eraser to erase out some of the pencil lines and it didn't even mark the paper and painting over those areas has not left any trace of it either so it's a good strong robust paper that will stand up to um, heavy washes and you know lots of continuous brush work in the same area you've got no worries at all um, about using this paper in anger <laughs> as it were um, now you can see there I've got the gouache on there now and I'm applying that over the top of the watercolour painting. One of the first things I noticed was just how smooth and creamy this paint is and you get a really nice coverage with it as well. Really high quality paint. And as I was mixing the colours on the palette um, I found that just a little bit went a long way. You know I wasn't having to scoop up loads and loads of paint to try and get a nice saturation of colour or anything. Um, the, the pigments are really very strong. I'm so impressed with them. Um, if I was blindfolded, I'd, I'd guess that they were artist quality. You know, they don't feel like student quality paints to me. They they feel like artist quality. Um, and the other set of student quality um, gouache that I've got, I've decided that I'm, I won't be using those anymore. I'm going to replace them now with the Arteza ones. They're going to be my go-to gouache paints. Okay, so conclusion then. Well, I think you can guess, can't you? <laughs> I'm totally impressed with them. I really am. Um, I think, honestly, you know, that paper is as good as any um, cellulose paper that I've tried. It honestly is. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful paper at a wonderful price. And again, I'm, I'm definitely going to be using it. And it's the same paper that's in the grey cloth bound travel journal style sketchbooks that Arteza do and I think I'm going to actually invest in a few of their A5 size travel journals because they're so convenient you know to have double double sided paper that you can paint on one side and draw on the other or paint on both if you want to you know and just take one sketchbook out into the field with you um, you know on your sketching trips and you've not got to carry the extra weight of taking two sketchbooks just take the one you're covered aren't you and the paints, well, I can't say enough good things about these paints. Like I said, you know, in the time lapse um, of this painting, these are going to be replacing my old set of um, student quality paints from another manufacturer. These are way better. These are really, really good paints. They really are. I cannot find fault with them in any shape or form. I think you've got to be um, pretty hard to please if you don't like these paints. I'm sure, you know, some people will say, oh, they're thinner or something than artist quality, you know, or, or whatever. Well, I found them, you know, very, um, very smooth and very creamy, very nice to lay down on the paper. They brush out without, um, you know, too many brush lines and things like that. A joy to use, you know, the whole experience of painting this picture for me has been a really joyful one. You know, sometimes when you're testing products, you get problems, you know, like, the, the paper can buckle too much or it can start pilling and the surface lifting and all this kind of stuff but I haven't had one incident or nothing negative to report about either of these products highly recommend them 
Now the only one bugbear that I've got, and I don't want to end this video on a negative, and I'm not going to, um, but the only bugbear that I've got is, well, if you've seen any of the other Arteza video, videos that I've made, or anybody else's video, we're all saying the same thing. You can't get open stock with their colours, their watercolours, their gouache, their coloured pencils, watercolour pencils. You just have to buy the sets. And I think Arteza aren't doing themselves any favours um, by doing it that way. Because what's going to happen is, you know, I'm going to run out of some of these colours and I'm going to want to replace them. And I'm not going to be able to go to Arteza to replace them. So I'm going to have to go to another manufacturer. And you kind of think, well, I might as well stick with that manufacturer. And I think Arteza are going to lose a lot of business down the line that way. Because I think they've got a really strong product in the marketplace here. I mean, they, I mean, a year ago they were the new kids on the block and everybody was kind of sceptical about them. But now they've kind of flooded YouTube and they've got a real stronghold in the marketplace. They're selling a lot of these products and a lot of people are really happy with them as well, including me. You know, I'm, I'm on board with this, this stuff now. I really do like it. But like I say, I just wish that eventually Arteza see the light <laughs> and they start doing open stock. You know, I really do hope that happens. So again, I highly recommend these, these products. Um, you know, if you've not got a lot of money, these are ideal. You know, they don't just get the job done, they get the job done really well. Not just adequately, but really well. Um, you can't go wrong with them. If you can't create artwork with these, you won't be able to create artwork with anything. Um, they're so easy to use, the paper's a joy to use for wetting to wet techniques. Any style of watercolour, it just works. Okay, so I could go on for hours um, singing the merits of these products, I really could. But I'll end the video here, and hopefully it's been helpful to you. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and um, subscribe and hit the hit the bell there, the notification bell, to get notifications of every time I upload. I'd really appreciate that. That'd be fantastic. Okay, so take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.